So Mendel takes his pea plants and he starts looking at them to reproduce and start crossing the pea plants to figure out how characteristics and traits get passed on. He takes what's called a true breeding purple plant. And what that means is every single time this particular type of pea plant is bred, it always passes on purple flowers. He takes a true breeding white pea plant. And what that means is every time this one reproduces, it only passes on white flowers. So if you have true breeding purple and true breeding white, and you cross them together, what do you think you'd get? Well, think about that for a moment. I've had students say, well, they'll get some purple and some white, or they'll get a lighter color purple, or they'll get, I don't know, white with purple polka dots. Well, let's see what he got. Every single one of the plants comes out purple, not a light purple, not purple polka dots, all purple. So what happened to the white? If this one was true breeding and it always passes on white as a characteristic, why don't we see that in these plants? So Mendel says, well, okay, I'll take the purple ones that he got from this cross here. Okay, remember, we're trying to figure out what happened to the white. So he takes all of these offspring and now he breeds them together. So what do you think he gets? Again, think about that. And you're probably saying, well, he probably got more purples. What he ends up getting is 75% purple flowers and 25% white. Now, for those of you that really like math, you're going to understand why this is a little bit later. So how did this happen? Well, somehow, the white must have been masked or covered in these offspring. And when those offspring were bred together, we finally saw the white come out. It didn't disappear, it was kind of covered. And that leads us to the idea of a dominant trait. A dominant trait, when present, will show over others. We write dominant traits using a capital letter, such as a capital B. A recessive trait will only show if a dominant trait is not present. We write a recessive trait using a lowercase letter such as B, lowercase b. So go and watch this video, what is a gene, and then I'll see you back here after that.